What's up, Doc? Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Brookie Marie TV, and today I'm giving you a cute little bunny. I'm just giving you a cute little bunny. And if you like this look and want to see how I got it, keep on watching. So this is the second look in this video, and this is a bunny losing its stuffing. Yes! So if you like how I got both of these looks, then keep on watching. So I did my eyebrows off camera like always. I have a video on that if you would like to know. So I'm going to go in the BH Cosmetics palette. And I'm going to mix these two colors right here. And I'm going to put it above my crease. Okay, so I came back with my face done. I forgot for this look. Usually I do my eyes and then I put my face on. But for this look, you have to do your face first and then put your eyes on after because oh let me zoom you in the reason why I say do your face first because when you're blending this you have to drag it down to the corners of your nose you don't have to do your face how I do my face like as in like foundation and concealer wise you do it however you feel like doing it you don't even need to put foundation on if you don't want to it's all about preference okay so now that I got it to the desired color I want it to be I'm going to now take the BH Cosmetics Carly Bottle palette and I'm going into this color right here it's like a mauve purple color just to deepen the color so now I'm going into a deeper color this color right here Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. Ah, I'm gonna take some, some more of this to make it more pinky. Now I'm going to take some white eyeliner and cut my crease a little more. So after you finish drawing that cut crease, you're gonna start making hair like brush strokes. <laughs> hey. So now we're going to go into our eyeliner. I'm using some white cream face paint and a liner brush to create whiteness under my eyes to make my eyes appear a little bigger. Also, I'm taking black eyeliner to draw under my eyes to like finish the eye look. So now create some lashes under your new eye. So I drew more lashes towards the bottom of my eyes and then I put on some falsies. I hate when I do this. I thought I was recording. So I'm taking some of that white cream on a beauty blender and dabbing that all over my face. So now, I'm like all over in this video now, I'm going to take some blush. Hey. So now I'm using this pink liquid lipstick to draw the cute little bunny lips. Now 
Now I'm taking some pink eyeshadow to create the little nose. guys so this is the finished look yeah it's a cute little bunny oh i didn't finish hold up so yeah this is the finished look on how to get a cute little bunny i put on a fur white top a cute choker that I got from I'm actually going to link it in the description below and some bunny ears to complete this look so stay tuned so you can see how this bunny gets un stuffed un now on to this next look I'm going to be using some liquid latex I'm going to be using a sponge to distribute everything so I think I'm going to put it in this area that I want it to pop out so you are going to go back and forth between putting a layer of liquid latex and then putting some tissue on top then liquid latex and so on and so forth This was kind of a fail. I found out the liquid latex I was using was a bit expired. I don't know why they sold it to me. I should have looked at the expiration date, but whatever. So this is why it came out a little clumpy because it wasn't good enough to spread out Yeah, on my face. So now I'm just taking some foundation and putting that all over my face. Well, not my face, on top of the parts, you know, where the white is. Now I'm just adding all the details I covered up. This is looking like a fail, yeah, but whatever, I'm going to keep rolling with it and see what happens. So I can't find my scissors, so I'm going to use my eyelash tweezer to kind of dig a spot open. We're gonna fill the holes with some pine balls. So as you can see, I added another little puff area just to give it more, I guess, pizzazz or whatever. And now I'm just taking some black and outlining where the, you know, ripping was so I can create some stitches. So my camera ended up dying for this part, but I just took some white eyeliner and made some lines and crosses to make it look like stitching. So this is the finished look with the stuffing coming out. I just made a little area over here too, just to tie all the look, you know, the whole look together. So thank you for watching this video. This was kind of complicated because it was my first time working with liquid latex and as you can see, I failed, but whatever. I try to save the look for the case, for the sake of this video. If you like this look, you should totally try it out, but if you're gonna do it, I suggest you testing it out beforehand just so you can see how it works because I think I got a bad batch of liquid latex. Like, it's, look at it. It's not even liquidy, it's just like, it was all one clump when it came out, but I tried. So yeah, thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more videos.